Hi, I'm Soheb Grewal, and I'm a venture partner at T Ventures, which is the venture capital arm of uh, Times Internet. Uh, prior to this, I was looking after India Investments for 500 startups. Um, before that, I was running my own small uh, angel investment firm, and my background's actually in design. I think the first thing that I look for uh, in a potential investee company are um, founders who have a very unique insight onto uh, a specific challenge or an unmet need in the market. Um, and of course, you know, I think one of the main things that uh, we're always looking for is uh, founders who have a, I'd say, a requisite experience or expertise to go out there or founding teams uh, to go out there and uh, meet those challenges and come up with solutions that users will eventually love. Uh, potentially pay money for, and they will continue to scale and grow. I don't think the idea per se is that important at early stages, uh, as much as the the team's uh, mindset and how they uh, think about problem solving. I think that you know one thing that we have to understand is that uh, you know entrepreneurship in India is uh, fairly nascent. You know we've not seen too many cycles with. That means is that you have a lot of folks who possibly have really, really great ideas, uh, have good experience, have the skill set to make things possible, but uh, they might not have soft skills like pitching, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I think we have to understand that uh, in a country like ours, uh, where entrepreneurship is still quite nascent, uh, if we start judging folks just by the quality of their pitch and not the substance of their idea, um, then we're probably going to lose out on some very, you know, exciting opportunities. It depends on the kind of investor it is, right? So if you're going to a, uh, a growth stage VC firm that typically invests in Series B investments, then no, then they won't invest in you unless perhaps um, uh, you've had some other investment beforehand. In fact, you probably wouldn't even go to an investor like that. Uh, unless that's the case. But that being said, uh, you know, us and our firm, we've invested in uh, early stage companies that uh, haven't raised uh, a single amount of capital. And we've uh, done seed rounds, million dollar seed rounds for them without them having ever raised uh, any money prior to that. Um, so I don't, I don't think that's a prerequisite. I think it's just about understanding, like, you know, going to the right investor and knowing whether that investor uh, invests at earlier stages, invest at an idea stage or invest at sort of like just a early product market fit stage. Look, I think for us, it's what's very important is to ensure that we are available as partners, both from a capital and a support point of view to our companies over multiple rounds. So when we're investing in a company at a certain stage, we've internally at least made some uh, allocation, if you will, for follow on rounds. Right, so there's always an understanding that if I'm doing, say, half a million as part of a seed round, then I'm probably going to invest a few more million over the next few rounds. Now, in some cases where I'm very, very bullish about the company, I might choose, and this is specific to us because we, we invest across stages from pre-seed to series B, uh, I might choose to lead the second round. So I might have led the first round, or even if I haven't led the first round, if I'm very bullish about the company, uh, I know I would like to buy some more stake in the company, then I might just lead the follow-on round as well. But again, it's very, very circumstantial, and it's uh, you know, from company to company uh, that we sort of take calls like that. I don't think investors can plan exit. Uh, I, that's just the reality of um, the situation. It's not even an India-specific thing. I don't think you can really plan exits uh, that way. I mean, this is not like investing in real estate. It's not like investing in the stock market that I can call my broker and get my money out. So I think that if you're an early stage investor and you're going in with a mindset that I'm going to plan an exit in three or four years, then you probably shouldn't be investing in startups anyway. You should be reconsidering your decision and invest in some more liquid assets. Um, I think uh, that being said, at later stages, uh, sometimes investors do engineer exits, and what I mean by that is that you know they might, they might find uh, another investor to do a secondary transaction with. Uh, in some very rare cases, companies themselves, the founders, might do a buyback if they have the cash flows and they have the money to make that happen. Um, and in some 
extremely rare cases, investors might push for acquisitions as well, uh, or even push for a company to go public, but that of course happens very rarely in India.